Well, Tim, I spoke with a spokesperson with the NTSB earlier this afternoon who told me they haven't had a chance to release any new information about this crash from the weekend, but they are hoping to do that sometime tonight, if not by tomorrow. But this is the neighborhood where that plane crashed. It hit some of these power lines on Saturday morning, started a small brush fire. You can see some of that evidence over there and across the trees is where that plane eventually crashed. We were standing here with hoses. Tia Ross is still shocked and shaken up after witnessing this plane crash on Saturday in Fairview, just a couple of hundred feet from her back window. It was a big explosion of red and black smoke, and I immediately called 911. She was inside her house when she saw what she describes as a fireball in the sky. I didn't know it was a plane. I, I just saw this big ball of fire, and it kept going, and I just thought, like, is that a meteor? Like, what is that? The twin engine Cessna crashed into the power lines above Tia's house and then crashed into multiple townhomes across the field. Some of the lines of the power lines up here were severed and they were live and that's what started the, the brush fire in the green space and why many of us had to just grab our stuff and leave. While she was on the phone with 911, the flame started inching closer to her home. Crews weren't able to put the fire out at first because the down wires were still live. But also at the same time, I think of how close it came to my house and I mean, had he just been maybe 100 feet over, it would have been my house. Three people died from this crash, according to the FAA. There were two people on board the plane and one person who was inside one of the townhomes. Audio from the Troutdale Airport Control Tower indicated that the pilot was having handling issues not too long after taking off. The runways were cleared for an emergency landing, but the pilot wasn't able to make it back. Curtis Smith saw the plane just seconds before it crashed. We only saw it for a few seconds before it went behind the trees there, so um, yeah, maybe two seconds of seeing it and it was at a sharp angle going down, you know, we could tell it was going to hit the ground. The one thing that's on everyone's minds, the lives that were lost. I'm still shook, still not sitting in that room. Now, Tim, the Mullinac County Sheriff's Office is also investigating this crash. I reached out to them and they told me they're hoping to release the names of the three people who were killed over the weekend sometime tomorrow. Back to you. Such a tragedy, Joe. Thanks very much.